Hi, I'm Dr. Patty. Welcome back. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. You know, Dr. Angela and I talk all the time about give yourself credit because we are all doing pretty well. That's the name of our channel. And we can always do a little bit better, even better working together. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of my most favorite hydrotherapy treatments that you can do at home. It's cheap as in free. It is easy. I didn't say it was comfortable, but it's easy and it has so many health benefits. So what I'm going to discuss today is the hot cold alternating hydrotherapy. And if you haven't watched it already, I'll try to link it here in the cards and down below in the description box, but make sure to watch my warming socks hydrotherapy, which I absolutely love for migraines, uh, colds, flus, headaches, um, poor circulation, sleep issues, all of that good stuff. So make sure to watch that video, but that take, that's a little bit more labor intensive, takes all night, you need some wool socks. Um, the therapy that I'm gonna talk about today just requires you getting into your own shower. And basically what it entails in a nutshell is alternating hot and cold. So I'm gonna outline it for you. What you're gonna do is get in the shower and start with three minutes of cold, then switch, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, three minutes of hot, and then switch to 30 seconds of cold, and then you're gonna do this three times. So what I usually say is just remember the number three, because unlike my little misspeak and mistake, in reality, you're never gonna mistake it and do three minutes of cold because you will be um, really feeling it. Now, there are other benefits to doing just a straight cold shower, and that's not what today's video is about, but today is about alternating hot and cold. So again, it's three minutes of hot, 30 seconds of cold, and you do this three times. And the purpose of this is that three minutes of hot brings all the blood to the surface, opens your blood vessels, um, really brings everything to be more open. And then when you do the 30 seconds of cold, it drives all that blood into your core organs. And so when you do this multiple, ta multiple times, it creates a pumping action in your body. And if you know anything about the lymphatic system, we have this whole other system and channel of vessels that run alongside our actual blood vessels and it's kind of like the vacuum cleaner of our body and it kind of sucks out toxins and gets rid of them however unlike our blood vessels our lymphatic vessels don't have valves so we have to manually make sure that the lymph is constantly moving that can be through movement rebounding lymphatic massage and hydrotherapy and if your lymphatic system is working efficiently your body is detoxing and having a really healthy immune system system. So I often do this hot cold alternating and recommend it to my patients as well for if you ever have a cold or a flu, if you're feeling a little bit run down. However, that's for when you have kind of a acute thing going on. Um, you can also use it just all the time to just keep a healthy flow, healthy circulation, healthy um, lymphatic drainage and healthy detoxification. So uh, sometimes I go through periods where I'm not having a cold or a flu and I just do it all the time anyway. And it's definitely a little bit easier when the weather is warmer because that cold doesn't feel as jarring. Um, and if you're feeling nervous about uh, that cold blast, I'm gonna basically say start with as much contrast as you can handle. So. What you wanna to work towards is as wide of a contrast as you can tolerate. And so you may not start with hot and then go to ice cold. You may just do warm and then tepid and kind of work up to it. But if you can do something with a little bit more contrast, you're gonna get more of that pumping action. Now, this hydrotherapy treatment can help us burn fat. It can help balance hormones. It can help with circulation. It can help with our immune system. It can help with headaches. 
So there's a wide array of um, effects of this very simple and really wonderful hydrotherapy treatment. So use it for acute colds and flus, acute circulatory issues, but also use it for general health. You know, basically in Chinese medicine, you know, people ask like, I don't understand really what acupuncture is or, you know, uh, Qigong or even Kundalini yoga. A lot of these therapies are to create more flow in the body. When we have a lack of flow, whether it's energy like qi or whether it's blood, Blood, any kind of stagnation can create disease, illness, pathology, pain. And so this hydrotherapy, in essence, creates uh, better circulation and better flow of all, everything throughout our body. So again, very simple, not the most comfortable at first, but you do get used to it like most things. And I want to share with you just personally, you know, when I do this more regularly, I kind of get into a rhythm. So I'm not just standing there for 10 minutes, just waiting for the hot to be done and then going to cold and going back and forth. I really incorporate it into my shower. So I've really got it down during the first three minutes of hot. I shampoo my hair, maybe lather up, um, you know, start to rinse off, and then I do a quick blast of the cold. And then the next three minutes, I might do conditioner or hair treatment or what have you, um, and kind of do the things that I need to do um, while the hot is on, and then again, rinse off, and then do a blast of cold. And then maybe in the next three minutes, I might shave if I need to, or maybe I just relax because I'm done washing my hair and, I, and my body, and I just stand there and just kind of enjoy the water and then you always 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 end in that blast of cold and I always say again remember the number three three minutes hot 30 seconds cold three times but in all fairness if you're starting out and it's um, a little uncomfortable it doesn't have to be a full 30 seconds of cold you can just do a blast of cold and then again work your way up you always want to just start with what you can do and then build on that with any therapy with any lifestyle change so this is something that's super easy. Um, you can do it anywhere, anytime, and it's super beneficial and has so many health benefits. So uh, give it a try, especially if you've got a little bit of a cold flu going um, where, you know, it's October where the weather's changing, the seasons are changing. This is a really common time when people start to feel kind of under the weather as the temperature goes up and down. Here in LA, it's October. Yesterday was 95 degrees. Last week seemed like it was gonna be a little bit more fall weather. So um, I was feeling a little bit under the weather as well. And if I am not in the mood or have the time um, or I'm feeling a little lazy and don't do my warming socks treatment, which I still do and I've been doing for 20 years, um, I will do this hot and cold alternating shower because it's uh, very helpful. And I usually point out that you know there's some version of hydrotherapy or water therapy in most cultures if you look at a lot of cultures there's a lot of common threads my running joke is that most cultures have some sort of dumpling whether it's a pierogi or an empanada or uh, an asian dumpling or a wonton or a shumai like everyone has some sort of dumpling but also if you look at fermented foods if you look at hydrotherapy japanese onsens um, finnish saunas uh, western european origins of nature care and water therapy this per just goes expands through all cultures so and is very very ancient so you can do this in modern times in the ease of your shower give it a try share this with anyone who you think might benefit or enjoy share down below in the comments if you've ever done this before um, if you've ever done any kind of alternating hot and cold how that made you feel um, if you have any questions and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and we will back be back here next week and we'll see you soon bye